Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm calling my very pregnant summer nighttime routine. I would have done this anyway, but I'm also feeling very sentimental about pregnancy coming to a close and I just kind of wanted to document this time in life of my very specific nighttime routine because it really is the same every night. Things that make me more comfortable and Bradley helping massage my feet and all that. So we put together a little nighttime routine for you guys. So I've been ending every single day with a bath. And here is huge belly. We are so close, you guys. It's kind of terrifying. Um, but I end every day with a bath. So I'm just going to get ready for my bath. I'm going to pull up my hair, take out my jewelry, and run my bath. And as always, we got Creeper Ludo just staring at me, which is so cute. Um, but I can stand the scent of most essential oils again, so I am putting a bit of stress away into the diffuser that we have in the bathroom. It just smells really nice. It smells like a vacation and helps me calm down a bit. So I am getting that in there. And then I am going to take off my makeup. So I had some glitter eyeshadow on, and when I have that, I like to use a wipe. So I'm using my favorite simple compostable cleansing wipes. I love these so much. We got Creeper Ludo yet again, just sitting and staring. But I feel like most people's problems with makeup wipes is it's really tugging at your skin to get the makeup off, but I do not feel that way about these. I feel like you barely have to touch. They're saturated enough with the cleanser. Oh, Ludo came over a little closer to stare a little bit closer. Um, they ju they're just my favorite makeup wipes. They're so cheap and effective and they're compostable, which is great. And whenever I have glitter on my eye, I just like to use a wipe to make sure I get it all off. I take off the face makeup first and then go into the eyes. But I am still, of course, going to cleanse with my simple moisturizing facial wash. It's my favorite. I actually probably cleansed with this twice. I am very serious about getting off all my makeup. So I'm just cleansing my face. All right, you guys, we're going in with a new product. This is a new fresh face mask from Lush, which means it's in the refrigerated section and it only lasts for like, I think three weeks. Um, this is called the Glen Coco face mask. Spoiler alert, I think this is the most hated thing I've ever used from Lush ever in my life. <laughs> I had high hopes for it because I thought it was going to be somewhat of a replacement for the cupcake mask, which was my favorite, and they discontinued it. And then this had the name Coco in it, but this literally smells like pure A1 steak sauce. I am not kidding. And it's not even like a pregnancy turnoff thing. This just smells terrible so bad and it dried my face out. I hated it. Um, so just letting you know that now, as you can tell, I'm already hating it, but we moved on into the bath. <laughs> so now I am running the bath. I found the perfect temperature in the way I turn the knobs and I do it the same way every night. I'm just using, oh, Lulu's here to help. I'm using this really random like body wash as a bubble bath that I got at TJ Maxx. It's nothing to even discuss, but I, then I put a ton of Epsom salt in it. It's good for your muscles. It has magnesium in it, so it's good for your digestion. And I just truly feel such a difference. Hey, Ludi. When I take a warm bath, it's just helpful for all my aches and pains in my pelvis. But also my belly has started to hurt just because he's pretty much ready to go. So yeah, I take a bath every night and the Epsom salt really helps. And this night I am using the Dirty Bath Bomb from Lush. I mentioned this in my last favorites video. It's from the Father's Day collection. They released it for the first time last year. I love it. It smells like pretty much pure spearmint. It smells so good. It's very refreshing and it's a very frothy bath bomb and I just liked all the colors. And I told you I'd give you a demo in this video, so enjoy. <laughs> And here's a glimpse of my huge naked belly, just soaking in the tub. <laughs> Thought I'd just share that. Then my face is clean. Got that awful nasty mask off. So I'm gonna finish the skincare. I'm just gonna clip my hair up out of the way. Here's another look at the ginormous belly. 
and I can barely breathe these days, <laughs> even now as I'm recording this. But first off, I'm going in with my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Facial Cleansing Pads. I love these things. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, it somehow gets some like dirt and grime off and it's always the best and it feels really refreshing. And my skin just loves tea tree, so I am just using one of those cotton rounds to clean whatever else is left on my face. Then I'm going in with my homemade toner, which this is basically witch hazel water and then rose, grapefruit, and tea tree essential oils. It smells really, really good. Then for eye cream, I'm using the Saturday Skin Avocado and Date Seed. It's a brightening eye cream. It's very lightweight, but it is moisturizing. So I've been using that up and been thoroughly enjoying it. So I just take some on my ring fingers. Whenever I do this on camera, it looks like I'm being so harsh, but I promise I am being as delicate as possible. <laughs> As my face oil lately, I've been using the 100% organic argan oil from Trader Joe's. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this as a face oil. I think I like it, but I'll keep you updated. You guys know I love a face oil, and this one is neither too light or too heavy, so I guess I do like it. I'm trying to decide if I like it as much as my Pixie Rose oil, but um, yeah, I am slathering my skin in that. Again, a thumbs down for this mask. Don't even try it, guys. Just don't. Then it's time for the belly butter. I am using the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. I have the apricot vanilla scent. I love this stuff. However, overnight one night, I got stretch marks. So I, I, I kind of feel like it's the thing that you can either prevent or you can't. Like you can do as much as you can, but in the end it's just maybe gonna happen. But I'm still putting it all over my belly because it feels good. And then I am also lotioning my arms because why not? It smells so good. Then we're letting the hair down and we're gonna move on to the other stuff that I do before bed. I always stretch. Here it's mostly just fighting off Ludo, getting in my face while I'm trying to stretch, but it's really cute. But I do some stretches that are good for my SPD, for my pelvis. Ever since I can stand the scent of essential oils again, the Peace and Calming Blend has been my best friend for helping me wind down at night. Any anxiety I have, as you know, I've been riddled with anxiety. So I just put that on my wrists, behind my ears, under my nose, anywhere. Um, Ludo and Bradley are cuddling and playing. And we were watching It's Complicated, one of the best movies ever. I'm a huge Nancy Myers fan and I love this movie so much. So we were watching that. And Ludo is just a touch feisty, just a little bit. Um, but then Bradley hugely helps me out by roll. Oh, let's see, Ludo's feisty this night. Um, he, My knees have been bothering me because of the extra weight I'm carrying. So Bradley uses my foam roller to roll out my IT band, which feels so good and is so nice of him. It's very helpful. And of course, Ludo is there to help with his toy. <laughs> but even if you're not pregnant and you have knee pain, try rolling out your IT band. It's a trick I learned back when I was dancing. It feels incredible. It it's very tender and it kind of hurts, but it's very necessary and you'll feel better the next day. And again, of course, Ludo is assisting. Then Bradley's gonna give me a leg and foot rub, which is again, so nice. I mentioned this in my favorites as well, the Burt's Bees and Mama Bee leg and foot cream. It's made with like peppermint oils. It really does soothe and calm down like any like my feet just feel really swollen at the end of the day not so much in pain but super swollen and the peppermint kind of helps them cool down and just feel really really nice and it just feels so good so Bradley's very nice and gives me a little foot and ankle and leg rub then of course I take my prenatal vitamins I've been taking the ritual ones I've loved them they never make me feel sick and that is it guys I'm ready for bed we have a little family cuddle before it's off to bedtime me, Ludie, and my husband, and my son in my tummy. So yeah, guys, that is my very pregnant nighttime routine. I hope you enjoyed it if you're pregnant or even if you're not. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some insightful tips. I'll be back soon with a morning routine version of my very pregnant morning routine. So look out for that. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.